out and about. And this came about because, um, you know, the, the world is um, obviously, you know, we're, we're, net, we're down definitely post COVID um, and things are slowly changing for people. So we thought actually we would start to um, have a think about when we're going to be out and about. So um, this is a new So let's have a look. Well, here I am. It's day three of being out and about this week. I've come into the office in London uh, Monday, Tuesday, and today, Thursday. Oh, what's my experience been like? Well, firstly, the trains are busier than they were last time. I tried this a few months ago. Uh, it's been standing room only on the way in. I'm really impressed with the lady who was standing next to me on the train this morning who managed to remind her kids to brush their teeth, agreed to give them some Robux, Robux for their computer game and organized two meetings. She was on the phone continuously and just like was nailing her to-do list, I swear. She probably did more stuff than is on my to-do list by the time we got off the train in a short 15-minute journey. So that's sort of mind-blowing. Uh, today, um, I'm in, I'm working through some project plans with some project managers, which will be good. Um, that's the kind of stuff that you can do over Zoom, but it really works so much better face-to-face -face because you can be doing it on screen together. Then when that's not working, you can kind of change thinking by jumping up and using post-it notes on a board or a whiteboard or bring somebody else in to get a second opinion or go out for coffee, get some fresh air and reconvene again. So much easier to do in person than it is over, over Zoom in a half hour chunked meeting. Um, it's been great for the corridor conversations as well, just being able to catch up with people that are on the periphery of projects, those stakeholders that you might not ordinarily have a meeting with, but you can just check in with and see how things are fine in a couple of seconds when you're putting your uh, sort of putting putting tea tea in a cup and stirring up and everything. So yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been a successful few days. Looking forward to today being the third successful day. Um, does this experiment mean I'll be going into the office more in future? Um, a lot depends on the team around you, I think. If you've got a team that are willing to come in and willing to engage in that way, it's fantastic for productivity. The team I'm with now are in two, three days a week, so I will definitely be continuing this trend and spending more time in the office. That's me. Excellent, John. You go doing stirring of coffee out and about. Fantastic. Here's another one. in London in a rather gorgeous library. Um, we're actually at the Royal Institute of Great Britain uh, and we're here to celebrate the House of PMO qualifications. Um, tonight we're going to be uh, joined by a number of PMO practitioners all interested in development in PMO and House of PMO is going to be formally launching its four level of qualifications.
there you go. That's just horrendous for watching yourself. However, <laughs> um, that actually video, I know it was polished, but um, actually, John, um, I managed to do it on a train on my phone on the way home, do the entire edit. So, um, I, you know, I'd be more than happy to tell people how I did it in the in the chat. But uh, but here's the last one. And uh, this is Eileen. Out and about. Well, Sid, it's a long time since you've been out and about in London. You've done the classic thing, got on the tube, got on the wrong lane. Now we're going to go back down the way to try and get to my location. Who's? <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. She can't do any of that nasty stuff, right? I'll do a horrible <laughs> thing. <laughs> Look at you, like somewhere in person. Hello, with Wayne. That's important. That's why we do these in person <laughs> events, isn't it? Ghana. So that's a same time zone, just further away. Fife. Excellent. Right then, so happy. So that's it, we're done for the evening. We've had uh, 109 people online plus 40 people in the room. And what it does mean is that there's lots of after event conversation, perhaps what we don't get online. So we're really looking forward for um, House of Prayer more to get out there and do more face-to-face -face events. So if your organization wants to house us, we'd be delighted to come and run one at your place. So there you go. We got out and about. Um, I'd be really intrigued to know whether um, anybody's thought about doing um, any kind of videoing stuff. Because, John, can you remember we first talked about this a few months back when we were thinking you did a, some excellent videos where you were giving some project status updates to your team and you were doing it <laughs> by doing some videos like that, weren't you? We we did. I was flying back and forth to Vancouver, and I was kind of doing them for, like from the airport, just giving people a quick summary of where we were. Those kind of short, bite-sized pieces. Um, I found those kind of video uh, sort of conversations worked really well for broad updates of how the program are going as a general stakeholder update not so good for the the exec team updates they never bothered looking at them at all but good for the wider the wider team you need to be a little bit more focused and probably still on email for the exec i think yeah right, super duper and um and eileen you seem to have fun and in, in your out and about remember you're on mute my dear um just well, she's just having a bad a word about me by the sounds of it <laughs> absolutely i just i was i just love giving you the camera for some of that but yes but it was just nice and what uh after the event uh that we went to with bcs it was a full hour and a half after the event so the after conversation was almost as long as the event itself and it's interesting isn't it, when you're on zoom you can only have like one-to-one -one conversations or one to many but in a in a room you can have lots of conversations happening at the same time so it was um it was nice i enjoyed it i can't wait to start doing a few more of them though yeah. i have to relearn the tube map yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely